How to get abs in 2016 fast. 2016, we're in 2017, 2017. Gotta get used to this. 2017, wow. Well, you know, there's programs out there, there's training regimes, there's uh, systems that, that say, you know, you can get abs in six weeks, three months, 90 days, whatever, you know? And the truth is, you know, no, no one can say how quickly you're gonna get abs. And I'm making this video because I received a question from a friend saying, hi Matt, this might be a silly question. How does someone like myself achieve a six pack? As I have, I don't have any idea, right? And so I'm making this video about it. Uh, well, you know, for anyone can achieve it. If you're able-bodied, anyone can achieve it. Starts with the mindset and starts with a standard. So my, my, my friend, you know, it, it brings up, he says, how does someone like myself achieve a six pack? So that, that presupposes that he holds an identity for himself that he's not someone that has abs or should have abs or whatever, someone like myself. I don't know exactly what he means, but he's, he's meaning something that he's seeing the identity of someone who shouldn't have abs or doesn't have or whatever, right? I, I believe. So, so it starts off with changing your identity and setting yourself a, a new standard. You know, it's whatever your standard is. My, my standard is, is to have abs. And if, I, uh, if, I, if they start to disappear, and they start to disappear not because the muscles get smaller, but because fat starts um, piling on, that kicks in something for me because like, I'm starting to go below my standard, below what I'm comfortable with. And then I start doing something, either eating differently, training differently, something different in my lifestyle, that is gonna start to show those abs again. It's gonna start to bring the body fat down. If I, if I go over 12% body fat, you know, I, I, that kicks in, happy or below 10. Um, so whatever your standard is, so if you want uh, to have a, an, an improved physique, if you want to transform your body in some way, you must raise your standard for what you expect of yourself and what you'll settle for. So, so don't settle for anything less than what you decide, what that vision is of how you want to be, how you want to look, how you want to feel. So that's the start. The start is to raise your standard and to, uh, to, to not have any excuses and to not settle for anything less than that. That's the first thing, is to have that vision of yourself to then start to move towards that vision and step into that vision. And have that be your standard ongoing. So that's the very first thing. Is, is, to, is, to not, is to change the identity, you know, to not see yourself as someone that shouldn't have. You know, when my friend says, someone like myself, you know, what does that mean? You want to reflect that to yourself and go, what, what do I mean by that? You know? So you've got to change your, your identity about yourself because the, the biggest motivating factor in the human psyche is to be congruent with our own identity. Biggest motivating factor in the human psyche is to be congruent with our own identity. So whatever identity we hold for ourselves, that's what our, we're, we're motivated to be that. And any time we, we veer off that, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to it. You know, something will kick in and we'll, we'll be steered back into that. We'll be naturally motivated. No one will have to motivate us. No one has to motivate me to have abs. Nobody. It's, it's a natural motivation that, that I have because it's part of my identity. So if you wanna change something about yourself, you wanna you want transform your body, you must change your identity about yourself. That's the first thing you must change. Secondly, you have to, you have to learn how, you have, you have to learn the skills, you know? And uh, you know, long gone is a day when people say, you know, you gotta do a thousand crunches a day. You know, pe people don't believe that anymore. The more sit-ups you do, the better your abs will be. You know, that, that's just not the case, right? You know, now the, you know, people start to understand that abs are made in the kitchen, right? It's more what we put into our, but the abs are always there. It's not like they disappear. Everybody's got abs. There's generally this, this like layer of fat or a spare tire or flab or whatever you want to call it around them. So what you have to do through changing your identity, start to reflect on yourself and see yourself differently. Have a, have a new standard for yourself, right? And, uh, and hold yourself to that standard. Have a vision for yourself. And then you want to start looking at you know, what you're putting in your body. And, and it's not always eating less. It's just eating differently. 
You're cutting out the processed foods, uh, cutting out the, the inflammatory foods, um, you know, things like that. Uh, eating closer to nature. Personally, I eat a plant-based based diet. I'm, I'm vegan and it just, it suits me, you know? It suits me for my energy, my clarity, and my ability just, just to burn fat and my, my body just to work optimally. That's just what suits me, right? Maybe it will suit you too. Have a go. So, you know, under, start to understand nutrition. Um, salt, salt holds water. Sometimes, you know, people aren't really, like, like they're fat, they're holding a lot of water because they're taking, eating so much salt in their diet. And most people are eating far too much salt, far, far too much salt. So really cut down on your salt intake and you'll get skinny, you know? You know, that, that's, that's from low salt. I had a low salt diet and that's, that's why I seem kind of, kind of, kind of skinny, you know? Um, so keep the salt low. And that, that alone can, can have a big effect. You gotta, you gotta start focusing on this, uh, write down everything you eat, everything you drink over seven days. You know, what you put your attention on, you'll, you'll start to be able to see w w what you're taking in. Because quite often we're, we're not conscious of all the foods we're taking. We're not conscious of what we're drinking or not drinking, right? Sometimes to, to lose uh, water content, we need to drink more water, right? To, to flush the salt out. And, and then we'll actually hold less water by drinking more water, if that makes sense. Obviously exercise as well. You know, the more muscle you have in your body, the more your body burns fat. So doing resistance training, doing weights, is uh, gonna be better for getting abs than, than, than running or cycling. Do, doing aerobic work, you're gonna get, uh, your abs are gonna come through quicker by doing resistance training. Weight training, the, the, the hip training's good as well. You know, things that are gonna really, really burn fat. And the more muscle you put on, the better that's gonna be. Obviously do ab exercise as well, core exercises, um, but you don't have to do that much. You don't have to do that much. So that's very simple. Change the mindset, change your identity. Um, look at what you're eating. Um, you know, cut out all the processed food, cut out all the crap, uh, all, the, all the fast foods, the oils. Cut out all the oils, cut, bring, bring the salt content low. Eat close to nature. Um, if you're like, like me, eat a plant-based diet. And then do resistance workouts. Do, do weight training. Uh, do high intensity training that's gonna like burn your muscles and build your muscles and uh, then you'll start seeing those abs after a while depending on how much you know fat you got on there in the first place you know it can be as little as, as a couple of months or it might take six months or two years but who cares enjoy the journey enjoy the process and keep going and just keep going it's a never-ending journey thanks for watching